Hundreds of crime survivors and reform advocates are in Tallahassee calling on lawmakers to make changes to help victims. That group includes some who left from Jacksonville and St. Augustine this morning. This is the third year in a row victims have organized this trip to our state capitol in hopes of expanding victims' rights and lobbying for criminal justice reform. This is video of them arriving in Tallahassee today. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding spoke with a local survivor and shares her message. With 400 crime victims and survivor advocates arriving in Tallahassee today, Florida's capital got a lot busier. All arriving today have hopes of making a difference. We want to make victims less of a victim help make them survivors. Jolie Manning's 15 year old daughter Haley Smith was killed by a hit and run driver in St. Johns County back in 2013. For Manning and other survivors, today begins a dialogue and a chance to explore new policies, ones that aim to reduce recidivism, make more improvements to probation, plus increase incentives for people in prison to participate in rehabilitative programs and increase employment and housing protections for victims of crime. Once Tiffany Higginbotham was charged as the driver in Haley's case, Manning learned she had been in trouble before. The young lady who killed Haley had been arrested 10 times before she killed Haley. And, you know, if she had been offered rehabilitation when she was committing minor crimes, would my daughter still be alive? For Manning, one of the goals is about stopping offenders from getting into trouble again and, in effect, preventing people from becoming future victims giving them the tools to succeed when they get out, where they can have a job um, and be successful and not continue in the same lifestyle. I'm told this Wednesday there will be a news conference where these groups will reveal some of the policies they hope lawmakers will consider in the months to come. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.